Welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Chad here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we've got another gun gripe episode for you. All right, now we're getting into some Hatfield and McCoy territory, maybe a little bit, all right? We're going to be talking about West Virginia. All right, now now uh, this doesn't involve moonshine, okay, but it will be interesting. So we'll dive into this a little bit. Uh, definitely want to take a moment to thank the folks at SDI for supporting gun gripes. Uh, they've got some great gunsmithing programs. If you're interested about firearms technology, they are a great group of people. Definitely worth looking into. And we appreciate them being longtime supporters of Gun Gripes, allowing us to have these videos come out raw, unfiltered, mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely unfiltered, and in your face. So here we go. Uh, let's dive into this a little bit. <laughs> so go ahead, Chad. <laughs> Join us. West Virginia governor urges pro-gun, pro-Trump Virginia counties. <laughs> so... Uh, if you guys aren't aware, okay, Virginia and West Virginia, okay, became two separate states back around the Civil War. West Virginia seceded, okay, from the Confederacy, okay, at the time. But uh, now <laughs> the governor is like, hey, all you uh, pro-freedom, pro-gun-loving counties over there in Virginia, y'all can just come on over here to West Virginia and we are going to welcome you with open arms. <laughs> so imagine, imagine this. <laughs> All right, a state called New West Virginia, okay, <laughs> name it New West Virginia, and you've got the little blue area where all the weirdos want to talk about gun control and everything, and then that giant red glob right there would be New West Virginia. So basically what they're talking about is the counties annexing themselves into West Virginia. Okay, we've long said, <clears throat> excuse me, we've long said that at state level, we really do need to have some form of an electoral college mm. that can prevent these kind of bullcrap things from happening, right? There's a lot of people in the rural areas that just want to be left alone. They want to live their lives the way they want, raise their kids the way they want, own their guns, do their thing, and be free people, right? <clears throat> and even the dog agrees. Okay, but the, th the thing is, you know, they want to be free people. They want to be left alone. And they don't want some you who's in the cities uh, with a super progressive attitude determining how they have to live their lives, right? Yeah. So there, there's this definite kind of mm. renaissance uh, consuming the country right now where people mm. are kind of seeing the writing on the wall that the mm. large population centers, they want to control everything that all the rest of the state has to deal with. They want to be able to tell them what time it is. And with the 2A sanctuary movement that occurred in Virginia, you can see that a vast majority of the people that don't want to deal with it, right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, there were a lot of voters that sat on their hands and didn't get out and vote because they thought that their rights were not under attack. Bloomberg pumped $2.5 million into Virginia to help all of these Democrats campaign, uncontested, mind mm -hmm. you. A lot of them ran uncontested. And, of course, you know, people drank the Kool-Aid, and now we're sitting on a Democrat-controlled majority of everything. So, And then they're just going to pump through whatever gun legislation they want. Mm -hmm. That's what this new state battle is going to be for every state. They know they're not getting a lot done at the federal level. Now, to be fair and to play devil's advocate, uh, we also aren't getting any pro-gun stuff done at the federal level either. But nope. I guess two wrongs don't make a right, but I don't know. I I wish that we got more done. You know, the two years that we had Republican control of the House, Senate, and presidency, we got nothing done. Mm -hmm. And that's extremely disappointing. We were complacent. We weren't hard enough on our elected representatives. We didn't let them know where we really stood hard enough from a hardline stance. We'll, we'll take part of that fault for not being active enough, right? We should have held those people accountable and got them to explain to the people why we didn't get the pro-gun legislation through mm -hmm. that we wanted while we had control of the ship. When the Democrats get control of the ship, they get things done. At least they're honest about what they want to do. And, they're, and when you know when they take control, they're going to use that momentum to get things done. Anyway, I digress. I say that in a lot of videos. Why didn't we choose from pro-gun bills like we're ordering off the dinner menu in those two years? Why not? It, that mystifies me, <laughs> but I digress. We tried. So, um, let's see. What's this fellow's name? Governor Jim Justice. Governor Jim Justice, yeah, you come on over to West Virginia and you have yourself a good old time. Right. Our state supports personal freedom and we value the Second Amendment and the rights of the unborn. Come join us. You will never regret it. <laughs> 
So there has I been, believe it. There has been some talk in uh, some Virginia counties and such about you know seceding from Virginia into West Virginia. So they're really looking into this. I mean, this is really a thing. It's like, oh, that can't happen these days. Nah, nah, they wouldn't do that. <sighs> yeah, okay, sure. And this whole gun sanctuary movement, oh, that's just a passing fad. That won't amount to nothing. What is this? I mean, you've got talk of counties seceding from the state because of anti-gun, anti-freedom, anti-personal liberty uh, legislation getting forced through by the governor and his cronies. Okay, if you're listening, Ralph Northam. Just Democrat leaders in Richmond, through their elitism and <clears throat> radicalism, have left a nearly unrecognizable state in their wake. The Democrats are anti-life, anti-Second Amendment, anti-liberty, and even anti-business with their oppressive environmental regulations. So, the threat from the radical left is real, mm -hmm. and it's spreading across the country and tearing our nation, our national family apart from the seams, but we have a rare opportunity to make history in our time by pushing back against tyranny in Washington and in Richmond. Mm -hmm. We need a state government that is not elected by federal workers in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., that will protect our God-given rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and I believe West Virginia will do just that. Get out of here. We'll I mean, you. I don't understand how much more clear you can get from that. It's pretty and, cut and dry. And that's been our thing. Like, <laughs> people want to choose a political side and make this a left versus right, Democrat versus Republican. But I believe somewhere in the middle of this fray is a group of people that, that you know, understand that it really, it literally is just that simple. Mm -hmm. The pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. That's all any of us want for both sides of the camp, Right. There's rhetoric on, on each side, right? The rhetoric on the left wants to ban guns and, and control every facet of your life and to, and to regulate free speech and to over-regulate everything, right? The right is guilty of moral and religious dogmas. Oh, well, you can't choose who you need to marry. You, you can't choose who you, what you want to put in your body. You can't do this. You can't do that. Because this moral dogma determines that you can't. Mm -hmm. Not because it's right or wrong, or not because you should or shouldn't do it or right, or because you want to do it or not. Never mind what freedom and, and will and free will dictates. Oh, we stand on this high plane, and thou shalt not do that. Mm -hmm. So there are definitely guilty parties on each side of the equation. And somewhere in the middle, there's people that just want everybody to get along and live the way they want and do what you want and be happy. Don't create a victim and leave my guns out of this. Mm -hmm. You know, So it's, it's definitely a touchy subject, and I didn't mean to get off on that on this particular video, but oh, well, it's always the values of West Virginia definitely align with the values of the majority of Virginia. So, you know, whether you're pro-life, whether you're pro-liberty, pro-freedom, which obviously many of us are, if you're pro-Second uh, Amendment, West Virginia is probably the state for you. But what West Virginia is saying, hey, don't abandon the country. Bring the country to us and we'll just, we'll become new West Virginia. <laughs> and I think you're going to see more of that. Okay, you will see more of that. Uh, moving forward, where these huge population centers are going to get left in the dust. Okay, let them exist within their echo chamber. Let them have whatever bullcrap, infringing laws they want, and let them live under those infringing laws in their echo chamber for an amount of time and let them see how much they like it instead of imposing it on all the people that don't agree with it. You guys live in your echo chamber with your bullcrap rules and see how happy you are. All you have to do is look at large population centers that have been long-time Democrat-controlled for a very long time. I mean, and it's just quite clear. I mean, look at Pelosi's district. There's human feces in the street, urine, used heroin needles, tent cities, and the graffiti all over the buildings, rats walking with burger wrappers in their mouth. I mean... How how can, I mean it's not funny. I just but got a visual of that. <laughs> I I paint I look I painted a picture of many 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 feelings and smells. Okay, uh, I get that. All right, God. but but how can you possibly want someone like that to determine the future of a God fearing, gun toting, good conservative mm. people? It's just it, I I can't wrap my mind around why anyone would consider that person a leader. Boggles my mind. It does boggle my mind. But guys, want to make this video 
Uh, just to mention the whole West Virginia paradigm, look, there's lots of things going on. We are making videos as quickly as we can. There's lots going on. We've got tons of gun stuff we're doing. Uh, lots of five guns videos. We've got meltdowns coming up. Uh, we've got all kinds of facts. I mean, gosh, we are working as fast as humanly possible. So we hope that you're enjoying the content. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell so you get our videos. And I definitely want to take a moment to thank all our Patreon supporters. Those of you who purchase man cans, mm. uh, t-shirts over on Ballistic Inc. Thank you for believing in what we do, seeing value in what we do, and and choosing to support us. Uh, we don't have Bloomberg's billions. Uh, we're not some hotshot lobbying group with millions of dollars. We're just a couple of dudes with a camera. So thank you for seeing value in what we do and choosing to support us. So uh, thanks, and we'll see you next time. See you guys.